kike ke hansa sabroni tahata kibo Hallelujah. Are you ready to dance for the Lord? Jesus will lift your name on high, your name on high, be lifted high. We lift Jesus will lift your name on high, your name on high. Hallelujah. 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 H
Hallelujah. Did you see me dancing away? Let's lift up a hand and give God a dance and a shout this morning. He's awesome, faithful, kind. His love has taken over us and our life depends on him. Our confidence is in him and in him, oh Lord, is our confidence. Let's lift up our hands. God is so good, faithful, kind, merciful and gracious. Good morning. Welcome to Power to Triumph this day. Tuesday, May 18th, 2021, to God alone be all the glory. We slept and awake because His grace sustained us. Hallelujah. Is that your testimony as well? Lift up your hands and thank Him and say, Father, thank you. I slept and I woke and I, you woke me up this morning and your love sustaining me. There are drugs to sleep. Which drug do you take to wake up? 
Tell me. Hmm. People take drugs to go and sleep. Now, which drug do you take to wake up? If there is such a drug, it will have woken up so many people who have slept and slept forever. But to God alone this morning, he woke us up. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands one more time. Let's appreciate him. You woke me up this morning. You renewed strength to me. Lord, I'm grateful. You are faithful. Blessed be your holy name forevermore. Take all the glory in Jesus' precious name. We have given thanks. Amen. Good morning. Welcome to Power to Triumph one more time, everyone. Under the sound of my voice this morning. This is another day made by your father and my father for us. To him alone be all the glory. The Bible speaking in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says, For the word of God is quick, powerful. Look at those adjectives. Quick, powerful, sharper than any two edges of piercing even asunder even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit. So the word can look for your soul, it can look for your spirit, and can divide them. And of the joints and marrows, so the bones, so the spirit, the soul, the body. Look at it. And it's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So from the spirit realm to the soulish realm to the body realm, the word of God is your solution. Hallelujah. The word of God can address issues in the spirit, can address issues in the soul, can address issues in the body. I see somebody this morning being healed physically, spiritually, and in your soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's ask for that word right now. Word of God, Father, let your word come to me this morning at my spirit, soul, and body level. Let the word build me up. Let the word give me an inheritance. Let the word shape my life this morning. Open my eyes to see that word. Open my ears to hear. Now, above all of this, brethren, I read something this morning very powerful. There is a bridge between knowing what the will of God is and doing what the will of God is. That bridge is called obedience. The bridge between knowing the word of God and doing the word of God is obedience. Do you obey the word? Let's ask for grace to be obedient to the word this morning. Lord, I receive grace to be obedient to your word. It's not just knowing and hearing and hearing and doing nothing like the man who looks at himself in the mirror and turns away. No, I want to look at the word and I want to continue continue in it and i want to obey it continuously and then thank you because i am blessed thereby to god alone be all the glory in the name of jesus may you receive grace for obedience this morning in jesus precious name amen and amen hallelujah now brethren we are streaming live on youtube channel sonia adeni ministries streaming live on facebook page sonia adeni ministries if you haven't liked the page or followed the page please like it because a time is going to come we're not going to send our link you will just connect and if you don't have that connection now you will not be able to connect at such time so go look for sonia adeni ministries page on facebook like it and follow it look for sonia adeni ministries channel on youtube subscribe and click on notification bell all notification bell and you will be notified every time we come along there may be times that we are not able to send the link what do you do at such times so brethren god bless you as you do that this morning in the name of jesus christ hallelujah two more things to do take this stream share reach out to somebody invite somebody somebody's salvation healing deliverance yokes broken burdens destroyed the joys of it will be credited to your heavenly account as well as you invite them to this platform this morning that's the new normal way of evangelism reaching out to somebody god bless you now brethren uh one more thing to do i will quickly recognize a few of us on facebook and go over to youtube and recognize a few of us so we can go into the word of god very quickly on facebook this morning i see sister rachel rachel showing you god bless you ma'am i see sister shola fode akinsoya god bless you mama i see sister eunice dk sister evelyn okuguni all the way from nigeria god bless you ma'am i see mama choma chebuka i see mama betty brown sister christiana igbiri i see mama eli kiba trust i see okpa ozori on and so i want to welcome everybody else on facebook this morning 
the Lord bless you. Joel King also, God bless you. Good morning. Welcome to Power to Triumph. Now over to YouTube this morning. I see a number of us, but I'll just a few mentions as we go to pray. I see Sister Angela Mason. I see Mama Mary Chuku. I see Elder Samson Idehe. I see Sister Claudia Calixt. I see Sister Glory. Um, I see Sister Trish Broom, um, Sulky. I see Sister Elizabeth Kang. I see Sister Funke Aderibigbe. I see Sister Julie Ogamu. I see Sister Victoria Godwin. Now, on behalf of every other person, I want to welcome all of us to um, part to triumph this day, uh, Tuesday, May 18, 2021. Um, so I welcome everybody else on YouTube, on Facebook this morning. It's going to be an awesome time. God has prepared a word. I have put it on a slide. Uh, take a quick picture of it. It will help you build your own uh, devotional this morning in Jesus' name. Now, three quick words from John chapter 11, verses 43 to 48. Do you know what I find? I find so much joy in pieces in the world. We've heard, oh, Lazarus, was he, he died and Jesus raised him up. But now we can see the details, the fine lines, the details of how Jesus woke him up. And all of, I don't know if you have been blessed by it, but I'm getting blessed by it. That's what we're continuing this morning. Now we're at the stage where Jesus, in verses 43 and 44, here's what the scripture says. It says, and when he had thus, he, when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. So Jesus can also cry. Jesus can also cry with a loud voice. Now, sometimes, brethren, you need to pray prayer in loud voice. I can't tell you the number of times Mama Fola and I in this house, in the middle of the night, we are crying out loud to God. We are saying, God, what you said you will do, do it. Brethren, if there is no such noise in your house, wake up. Begin to make such noise in your house. Crying out loud to God in a loud voice. Perform what you said you will do. Bring to pass your promise in my life. Can I tell you, I can hear in my spirit now, somebody, the Lord is saying to you, that is one thing that is still left for you to do. Cry out loud to me. Shout out loud my promise to me. Remind me of my promise in a loud voice. Listen, a lot of people, they are scared to shout to God. Your creator, your maker, they are, they are, they are sky, you know, they, they follow popular vote, uh, popular, popular opinion, saying, no, no, you don't, you don't need to shout. Just pray quietly in the, in the corner of your room. No, no, here is Jesus. This type of prayer, this type of command could not be done with a low voice. The Bible says he cried with a loud voice. Let me show you that scripture again. He cried with a loud voice. Lazarus, come forth. Sometimes with that kind of voice is what you need to cry out loud to that situation and say, will you Get out of here now, you demonic force, you foul spirit. Lose your grip and get out. And I tell you, <laughs> now let's go to the next verse. And he that was dead came forth, bound, hand and foot with grave's clothes. And his face was bound with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, not unto him, unto them, lose him and let him go. Here's what I wrote this morning. I said, Jesus had to address Lazarus by name. Otherwise, every dead in the cemetery will have comfort. <laughs> Turning to his disciples, followers, and family, Jesus asked them to lose Lazarus, implying that he raised Lazarus. It was the privilege and responsibility of the followers and disciples to lose him. People are born again by score, by the score daily. And the Lord says to you who know them, I resurrected them. Now you lose them by praying for them, sharing with them, and by standing by and standing by them. Hallelujah. Now, what's all that saying? It's saying you have a responsibility. You have a responsibility. And I have a responsibility to help the people that are around us. To them who are bound. You want to see them loosed. How do you see them loose? Pray for them. That's why on this platform this morning, anyone bound, they had to say, I declare 
decree your liberty right now in the name of Jesus. Be loosed. Now I see some bond, some mm, now whole secret. Somebody around your waist, a rope is like a rope was tied, and your waist is so tight. Now I see that rope broken, and I see you loosed in the name of Jesus. And the power of God comes for you. Anyone tied down whose destiny is tied down right now, I command you loosed in the name of Jesus. Be loosed and be set free. In the name of Jesus, go from here free. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Brethren, to God alone be all the glory. Let's take the second uh, quick word this morning from verses 45 to 46 of John chapter 11. He said, And there, then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. So, you see, mixed feelings, mixed reactions to the word of God. They saw a miracle live. Lazarus, from the dead, four days dead, came back. Some believed and said, no, this man is a man of God. Others, they sneered at him and you know, raised their nose and said, look at him. What is he doing? And then they went to the Pharisees and told them, reported Jesus to them. Let's read what I wrote. I said, we see here the different effect which the word and the works of God have on different individuals. Some are converted and others are hardened. Yet, the evidence of this miracle was as clear to the one as the other. But they will not be convinced. The enemy is at work in the life of some, making them to live in disbelief. So can I tell you, Thank God for Jesus. No matter how much we preach Jesus, some will choose to go to hell. Don't stand their way. Just leave them. The only one who can convince anyone. That's why Jesus said, part of what the Holy Ghost will do, it will convince, convict the world of sin. It will reprove the saints of righteousness. It will, in other words, he will be your prompting. Live righteous, live righteous, live righteous. And he will rebuke the world of sin. He will convict them and bring them. So the only one who can convict is the Holy Ghost. Let's leave hand over anyone that is being stubborn. That is saying, no, 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 who is Jesus? Hand them over to the Holy Ghost. Hand them over to the Ghost. Say, Holy Ghost, take over this one. Do you know what he will do? He will convict them. He will convert them. He will convict and convert them. Now that power is released in the name of jesus christ hallelujah to god alone be all the glory let's take the third quick word as we go to pray this morning verses 47 to 48 i'm loving this this morning how we're breaking it down now verses 47 to 48 says then gather the chief priest and the pharisees accounts a council the council of the pharisees and said what do we do for this man doeth many miracles if we let him alone all men will believe on him, and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and our nation. <laughs> they were more concerned about Modicata. They were more concerned about the happenings around. What will people say? What will people do? You know, the Romans will take over. Uh, we want to. We don't want to lose our place. They were more concerned about protocol they were more concerned about the social status they were more concerned about the you know the the surface things here was somebody who died four days was raised up from the dead but they were not now talking about what do we do now you will see by the next day or so somewhere there how they planned to go and kill lazarus again that if he raised him from the dead let's kill him <laughs> the miracles in your life the things that god did do you know some people are saying ah why did he get that car how did he get the house how did he marry that wife how did he have those children how did he have that money and so many things they are angry listen they are of their father the devil the devil's will is what they will do so leave them alone you focus on what God has done. Hallelujah. You bless this morning. To God alone be all the glory. Let me read what I wrote as we go to pray this morning. I said, what are we going to do about Jesus? The Jews asked each other. If we don't stop him, the Romans will come down to quell a potential insurrection and we will lose our place, you see. For the Pharisees, the ministry was a platform for personal prestige and power. 
thoughts they weren't concerned about being about God being in his rightful place. They were only concerned about losing their place. The Pharisee order is a selfish one. Do you have concerns for the kingdom? Are you more kingdom focused or people focused? Are you people focused or kingdom focused? This morning, receive grace to be kingdom focused in the name of Jesus. Let's receive grace to be kingdom focused. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, grant me grace to be kingdom focused in the name of Jesus Christ. To God alone be all the glory. Wow, what a word this morning. Now, brethren, let's go to the communion table. If the communion table is set in all the homes, let's partake of that communion right now. Lift it up. Your water and cookies is good enough. Let's lift up the communion before the Lord. Make sure you partake of this every morning. Heavenly Father, this is the communion of the flesh and blood of Jesus presented across all platforms and across everyone under the sound of my voice around the globe right now. In the name of Jesus, as we partake of this flesh and blood, let the life in Christ begin to flow in us. Let the same grace that is in Christ begin that makes him cry out loud, that makes him pray, that makes him zealous, fervent for you. Let that same grace answer in us this morning. We will be fervent, we will be zealous, we will not lose our place with you in the name of Jesus. Also by this, let there be healings, let there be deliverance, let yokes be broken, let burdens be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Now I feel a nudge, I need to pray for somebody's salvation. Let's partake of this communion and I will come back to that. Hallelujah, the flesh, the blood. Take the remnants of that blood, smear it all over you, covered with the blood of Jesus Christ, morning, afternoon, night, in the name of Jesus. The works of your hand is covered with the blood of Jesus. Everything around your life is covered with that blood in Jesus' name. Now, I want to pray for somebody. I want to pray for somebody, somebody's salvation. If you are that person, the Holy Spirit pulled me back to pray for you. Place your right hand upon your chest and say with me, Lord Jesus, I give my heart to you. Be the Lord of my life today. I want to obey you. I want to serve you all the days of my life. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You just got born again. You just got saved. It was the same thing I did 37 years ago. And 37 years after, I'm still burning for the Lord. Receive grace. The next 37 years of your life on this earth to be strong, to be on fire for God, to do the will of God. That same fire enters you right now. Begin to seek after Jesus actively, not passively. Actively seek after Jesus. Come to this platform every day. Pray, study the word of God, and then tell the Lord, Lord, I want to live for you. And zealously follow after him. That same fire enters into you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, brethren, let's take our personal supplication and prayer request. Praise reports. If you have praise report, report, if you have praise report, please type it out there. Uh, if you have prayer request, please type it out there. I will be leading us in personal supplication. There is a scripture in Matthew 13, 23. The Bible says, But he that received this that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word. He that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit. And bring it forth some an hundred fold sixty and some thirty. Now, uh, based on that scripture, we're going to pray like this this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your word take deep root in me and make me grow in grace and in my knowledge of your will. Hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your word take deep root in me and make me grow in grace and in my knowledge of your will. And like I said at the opener, it's not just knowing, it's the doing. James 5 talks about anyone who hears the word, James 1, sorry, who hears the word and does it, it's like the man who continues therein and that is the person that is blessed. Hearing it, not doing it, makes you look like a man who comes before a mirror, looks at his face, leaves the place and forgets what he saw. That, this morning, that, that hold over your life that makes you not to obey the word is cancelled. And like I said, the bridge between knowledge of the word and doing the will of God is obedience. So receive grace this morning. Let's take that prayer again. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your word 
take deep root in me and make me grow in grace and in my knowledge of your will in the name of Jesus. Are you asking the Lord, Lord, let your word take deep root in me and make me grow in grace and in my knowledge of your will. And not only just the knowledge, but in doing your will every day of my life. Help me. Let your word take deep root in me. Teach me obedience to your word and help me obey your word daily. They are so precate kata kata yada rapiko to katuza hate ki toto radia me piero do hoshakitere sensitive to your word and to your will only in Jesus name. Now many are so sensitive to people's comments and things and you know people's eyes and all the things that are happening around them to the environment but what much more you need more sensitivity to his word. To be sensitive to his word, to take his word, to run with it, to do it. May you receive that grace in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now, brethren, uh, let us... Uh, um, so, if you have the prayer request, please type it out there. The praise report, type it there. Mama Choma said, Father, help me to be kingdom focused in Jesus' name. Yes, Sister Opea Mifa Soero says, Grant me grace to be kingdom focused in Jesus' name. Yes, that's the prayer we need to pray every day and ask the Lord, Lord, help me to be kingdom focused in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory in the name of Jesus. Yes, Mama, um, Mama. I say a prayer, Mama Mary Chuku, yes, you are loosed in the name of Jesus, set free completely, healed, delivered by the power of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, while I'm waiting for your pray, prayer request and praise reports, let's go and take my daily covenant declaration. If you are ready, as I am, my daily protection covenant declaration, let us go. Um, because I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh me. Only with my eyes shall I behold, and see the wicked rewarded, because I made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most time my habitation, there shall no evil before me, neither shall any play come nigh my dwelling. For God shall give his angels charge over me, to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall I trample under feet. Because I have set my love upon God, therefore will he deliver me. He will set me on high, because I have known his name. I shall call upon him. He will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. With long life will God satisfy me and show me his salvation. So shall it be for me and my household today and forever. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. As you have declared, that's what God will do for you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now I seek up a prayer request. Mama Chema says, the schedules, they, they scheduled him for surgery. I'm asking God to cancel the surgery. Okay. Whoever that is, Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand in faith with your daughter. We believe you for a cancellation of that surgery. What it means is supernatural healing. Father, may no whole sirakataria patapra. Psalm 107 verse 20. You sent your word. You healed them and delivered them from their destruction. We send your word to that individual right now. We decree supernatural healing. And when the doctors revisit the situation, they will say there will be no more need for surgery in the name of Jesus. So we believe you and stand in agreement in Jesus' precious name. Bro, Joel King also says, Father, help me to desire you more than all things. Yes, that's the prayer we need to pray every day. Father, help me desire you more than everything else in my life and around me. In Jesus' name. Sister Angela Mason says, that I'm asking the Lord to remove all hindrance from my life. As 
so I can be on fire for him in the name of Jesus. That's a very valid prayer, Sister Angela. Now, Father, by the authority in the name of Jesus, all you need is the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit is a fire. He burns off every dross and every particle and everything that is an impediment. He burns it up. Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. He said, he shall baptize you with the fire and the Holy Ghost. Take her to Sahate. So when that fire comes on you, it burns off every particle and every chaff and everything. So in the name of Jesus, lift up your hands, Sister Angela. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost right now. Via to Sahate. He enter he enters into you right now be fired up for him in the name of jesus christ and begin to be on fire for him every day in the name of jesus christ now every day pray in the holy ghost every day you wake up sister angela and everyone under the sound of my voice pray in the holy ghost that's how to steer the fire you steer the fire by praying the holy ghost jude 120 but ye beloved building up yourself on your most holy faith Praying in the Holy Ghost, building up yourself, building up yourself on your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. So the key is really praying in the Spirit every day. Pray for, start with praying for 15 minutes. After a while, increase it to 30. After a while, increase it to one hour. Can I tell you, time is coming. Two hours you are praying in tongues and you are not tired. Three hours, four hours before the Lord and you are not tired. That's how to build the fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Sister Pat, Abaleke and Wakama say, pray for my children that God should give them wisdom, knowledge and understanding. We release the Hato Katarabara. Wisdom, knowledge and understanding in the studies of your children we release that wisdom upon them in the name of jesus the inwakama children receive the wisdom of god receive knowledge receive understanding to excel in your studies in the name of jesus so shall it be father we thank you we give you all the glory we bless your holy name thank you father hallelujah to your name in jesus precious name we are prayed now brethren this day goes well for you because you have honored god you have showed up this morning you have showed up and he will make you go forth with the power to triumph through this day in the name of jesus lift up your hand receive that power to triumph through this day Come back with your testimony in the name of Jesus. To God alone be all the glory. Now listen, we've done a couple of things. Prayed, studied the word, declared. All of these are contained in the notes section of the YouTube channel, Sonia Deni Ministries. Go look for it. You will find it there. And as you look for it, subscribe and click on notification bell. Also, Sonia Deni Ministries page on Facebook. Go look for it. Like and follow it. Many, many, many good things are accompanied. We are accompanied to that subscription as you do it. God bless you. It's going to be the best day of your life. The hand of the Lord will rest upon you. The glory of the Lord will cover you this day. In Jesus' name. Remember, we'll meet again tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Whatever that time is in your zone, interpret it and join us in the name of Jesus. With Jesus' joy, shall we share the covenant? Let's go. God will show me the part of life. For in his presence is the fullness of my joy. And at his right hand are my players forevermore. Peace, love, and joy. Shout this second one out loud. My glory is here. No loss, no pain, no shame. I declare no loss, no pain, no shame for you all through this day. The hand of the Lord will distinguish you, will distinguish you and his glory covers you this day. And finally, I am waiting for your testimony. What do you say? I shall testify in Jesus' name. Let's take it one more time. I am waiting for your testimony. I shall testify in Jesus' name. God bless you. Um, have a wonderful day. And thank you for coming. I'll see you again tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. God bless you. Peace.